Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm going to demo and review the Denman brush. Yeah. As mentioned in the intro, I'm going to demo this Denman brush and then I'm going to review it. And just so you guys know, um, this has been one of my most highly requested videos. And so I went online and I purchased this Denman brush on Amazon. I think I got it for $12.99. Um, and I got free shipping because I made several other purchases that day. So anyway, this was $12.99. I have seen them online for like anywhere between $7.99 and $13.99. But anyway, I ordered this one from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below. I'm pretty sure you can buy it at Sally. You can't buy them at our Sally. So I had to order it. So anyway, I got this brush um, and I watched a bunch of YouTubers talk about this brush before I used it myself. I've seen it on Instagram. This brush was made in the UK and it was not made to be a curly girl's detangling brush or a curly hair brush. This brush is made to smooth the hair and style the hair. And actually, like if you look at the advertisement, the girl on the advertisement is has like long, very loose, wavy, blonde, sleek hair that looks like it was flat ironed. Um, but anyway, a lot of curly girls have been using this brush and if you follow the curly girl method or if you follow anybody with curly hair on Instagram or YouTube or any social media, you've probably seen it. So I decided to try it. Now, again, I always finger detangle my hair in the shower when it's soaking wet and full of conditioner and so I did not ever expect to use this as a detangling brush. I intended to use this strictly for applying my products and what they claim not the company i mean people that use it what they claim is that it helps to spread all of the product very evenly through your hair strands and then because you're stretching the hair out when it goes to recoil all of the strands that are of the same elasticity they kind of find each other and it makes really good clumps so anyway that's what i am going to demo today i'm going to use this brush to try to achieve great curls um, but before I do that I'm just going to show you the brush so here's the brush in the packaging um, it says Denman right on it it says that it's a styling brush it says for more information visit www.denmanbrush.com um, here's the brush <laughs> so here's the brush I find it has like kind of a 1970s feel with the black and the gold it has a really smooth handle. It's nice and heavy, like it's a good weight. I know that sounds weird, but it just feels nice in your hand. As far as like the physical product is concerned, I really like it. Um, you can see that the combs are pretty close together, um, but you have the option of modifying this brush, which I think is kind of cool. Just take it apart, open it up, and you can slide out um, some of the combs yeah so like some people choose to slide out every second comb sorry my camera's not focusing great right now I don't know what's going on that's better so you can slide out every second comb and then just create a brush where the combs are a little bit farther apart you may want to do this if your hair is tends to be a little bit more tangly or if you have a tighter curl pattern than I have um, but anyway I chose to use the brush as is um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say at the beginning. I'm going to talk more at the end. But right now, through the magic of film editing, <laughs> I'm going to go back to the beginning of the day before I use the brush and take you through the whole process. This is what my hair looks like unstyled with no product in it. So this is after a couple of days of like not refreshing or co-washing it, just wearing my hair in a ponytail and then a bun and like sleeping on it. Um, so I'm about to go get in the shower. I'm going to co-wash my hair like I always do. I'm just going to use my regular conditioner um, to co-wash my hair and then I'm going to come out here and apply my products on camera using the Denman brush so I can show you exactly how I would use it. And then of course I'm going to come back after my hair is dry and talk about my results and whether or not the Denman brush is something that I would purchase again or that I would recommend. I'm back post shower and I'm about to apply my products. I have my Denman brush. <laughs> For my products, I have two things here. I have my Bioterra alcohol-free styling gel, and I'm also using Diva Curls Wave Maker. 
I'm going to start by sectioning my hair a little bit. I normally mix my cream and gel together when I'm using a gel cream combination and then I'm just going to smooth it over my hair using the praying hands technique and then I'm going to go in with my Denim brush. My hair is already detangled. I wouldn't use this brush to detangle my hair. I'm just using it to spread the styling products through my hair and hopefully create some great clumps. <music> I'm going to give my hair a little scrunch um, and I can already feel in my hair uh, touching my hair right now that the products are extremely evenly distributed throughout my hair and I do like that um, this is the first time I ever use this brush and so I have no idea how my hair is going to turn out but I have a feeling it's going to be at least okay but we'll find out in a few minutes I'm back and these are my final results. Um, before I get to my review and talking about the brush, I just want to say if you're watching this video and you're like, Susie, you told us you were going to do a video about India Bats' hair routine and you're wondering where the heck that video is, well I gotta tell you guys, I went all out. I ordered every single thing that she uses in the video. I even ordered that little like in shower, that little rounded vibrating shampoo brush. I got the Diva Curl Wavy products, I got it all. But then she mixes a little bit of um, As I Am Coconut Co-Wash into her conditioner in her videos, and that is taking forever to come in the mail. So I have everything else, and I'm just waiting for that, and then I'll put the video up right away. But anyway, guys, back to the brush. Um, after I combed the products through my hair, I showed you guys that I scrunched it. Then I just took a t-shirt and scrunched out a little bit more of the extra water, and I let my hair air dry. And I think that it turned out really good. So one of the first things that I noticed was that I didn't find it made my hair clump any more than it normally does. I really don't. Um, and I always say this, my hair is not that curly. So I have, my hair is definitely curly with some waves in it, but it's definitely mostly curly, but my curl pattern is very loose and um, I find it really hard to get my hair to clump anyway. So my hair didn't clump any more than it normally does. The biggest change, I feel like, is because you are smoothing the products through your hair um, using the brush. I had like really, really good frizz control. So I'm gonna get up close to the camera so you can see. I did not apply any additional oil or cream or anything to my hair after it dried. I just let it dry as is and the frizz control is unbelievable, I have to say. So I'm gonna get up close. So like normally, like you can see these little frizzies, like I wouldn't even call that frizz, but like there is no, look I have a white hair right there, um, there is no halo frizz, there is no frizz. Um, the other thing that I believe that this brush does is it made my curls tighter, maybe because I spread the product evenly through and stretched them out and then they sprung back into place. My hair looks shorter, so my hair looks about an inch and a half or two inches shorter and I just think that is because my hair is very curly right now. Um, so yeah, I am extremely happy with my results. Um, will I add this to my hair routine? Probably not every day. Um, and you guys are gonna be like, well if it works so good then why aren't you gonna use it every day? 
I just find like I get ready so quick in the morning and I'm a person like I like to just throw my styling products in my hair in the shower scrunch my hair and walk out the door this is an extra step um, I will definitely keep this in my shower and I will take the time to use this sometimes um, and for the price I think it's great so I'm giving this brush like a big thumbs up um, I didn't find it helped my hair clump, like I said, but I feel like it really, really evenly distributed the products through my hair. It didn't break through my hair, so like when I looked at the brush afterwards, there wasn't like a bunch of hair breakage, probably because my hair was already detangled. So yeah, the frizz fighting was amazing, and I feel like my hair looks extremely curly. Um, before trying this, I thought to myself, I'm not going to like this because my cur curls, sorry, are extremely fragile. And what I mean by that is, if I style my hair, um, and my hair is curly, and then I go running my fingers through my hair after it's dry, or if I used a wide tooth comb and tried to fluff up my hair, I basically brush the curls out. Um, or if I sleep on my hair, anything like that, I just completely lose all of my curls. So I was thinking, you know, stretching my hair out and brushing my wet hair is kind of counterintuitive and I just did not think that this would work but I do love it I have to say look I didn't push the thing back in all the way there but I do love this so yeah double thumbs up and for the price I say try it can I guarantee that it's going to work in your hair no but it is definitely definitely worth the try if this was 45 50 dollars I might say you know what made a little bit of a difference but not enough to go out and spend forty fifty dollars but the fact that it is between like eight and thirteen dollars um i definitely recommend this but anyway guys go out try the brush if you already use the brush um please tell me how you use it and if you like it in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it you can give it a big thumbs down if you didn't like it subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye